Hey, what's Monica, happening, guys? You out there? Staff Sergeant Herrera, Colonial Marines. He's in a radio dead zone. Patch into the local network. Anyways, sorry about that. We're here on Mission 2, Campaign 1 of Aliens Fire Team. I'm running the Gunner, trying to level it up a little bit more. Thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I'm going to try and play through most of the campaign. You know, we'll see what we can do. And we'll just have some fun and jam it out with killing some aliens. Sounds like fun to me, right? Honiger, you read? Yeah. Yeah, a lot clearer. Listen. To get to me, you'll have to go through the network security room. Alright. So, in case you're wondering, I am running Raw Recruits as my uh, card. It's going to give us an experience boost, but it does disable our kit abilities, so unfortunately we will not have... Uh, our grenades or our overclock ability. But that Locked shouldn't be a deck. problem. The overrides in network security up in the op center. Now, the reason I'm not starting with mission one is simply because I use that for all of the classes when I show them off. So hey, I figured okay? everybody was pretty much an expert on campaign uh, mission we one. Handle, so just stay frosty. We will just start with mission two. Yeah, I'm just taking a quick peek ski to see if our hidden cache is around. Rearming. Grab all our goodies. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I can see you on my monitors now. Wait, Xenomorphs, heading to you. Let us handle it. Shooting some buggies, I'm shooting some buggies. So obviously we are playing, playing post patch, which means most of our weapons have been four starred. Obviously I have played, so this is a leveled up character to a certain extent. I'm trying to max it out, and start trying to max out all the different classes. So I'm just going to take a little bit of grinding to do. I have not yet unlocked the recon unit. I've been stuck on the last mission, unfortunately. So, hopefully we can break that streak and I can get the recon unit up and see what it looks like. And I can show that one off for you guys. We shall see what we see. Now, I will probably play a different class for each one. I do want to level the gunner, but I'm not going to take you guys totally as a gunner through everything. We'll probably bounce around between the classes. I don't want to show you guys each of the different levels. I just wanted to hold off long enough for people to see everything without it getting spoiled. And I'm not going to be playing on, like, insane difficulty, simply because I'm not that good a player. And since I'm playing with the bots, primarily to make it quicker to get into things, rather than waiting for, you know, a pickup group, wow. uh, there'd be no point in running the higher levels, because bots cannot handle the insane difficulties. Sorry. Uh, have you seen a gray striped xenomorph? <laughs> Right? No. Have you been down to the surface? Did you make any arrests? We can't discuss operations on That's an open channel. That's why you can't have bots in higher levels. Uh, they just get lost right. doing things. Yeah, of course. All right, forward. Hear that? That usually indicates we got a friend ready to jump us somewhere. Usually when they say that, there's a prowler lurking about somewhere. 
Somebody bagged a few bugs here. Huh, he must have been stuck been in the wall. To get at me. I rigged the pipes. for some reason today. Prowler. In front! And behind! said there was a prowler, but I don't see the prowler. Oh, hi. I was like, hold on. Okay, what's with all the bursters? I don't remember so many bursters in here. That's crazy. So, uh, the halls between you and me are 120 below zero, so... to reach me. I, um, it broke the valve. Tossed the wheel in a side room. Sorry. Lucky guess, I suppose. Yeah, that's it. Just attach it to the valve in the pump room. Do -do 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 -do. I really can't right now, I'm busy cranking something. There we go. Sense than me that caused that problem. Then did I panic? I think not. Oh, 
that one's dead. Enough. There's one Xeno that I keep seeing it. I think maybe, maybe I'm just I don't know. I haven't slept. Oh, it's all right, Doc. We just think you're absolutely crazy. What's that? Oh, it's a synth pod. Okay. Set the access code to the server core. Should do it. Now we fight off another damn swarm. Get to cover. Don't wanna. Eyes up. here so we don't run out. Bypassing death. You do that. I had to overclock in my grenade right then. Uh, that one knows me. Followed me. Grabbing ammo. And we... They made it. In the lab on LV-895. It came up here with us. We didn't know until... The woman who... The one it came out of. Her name was Monica. Do do? Alien lore, unfortunately, does not... state that they remember... anything after becoming an alien, so... Likely the only reason it followed him is because it knew he was here, whereas the rest of the hive did not. Because there's no evidence to support that they remember anything or have any imprints about people or things. It's literally just a host with a parasite coming out of it. I know a little bit more about that stuff than I probably should, but I was real big into aliens when I was a kid. He used to have all the comics and all the games and everything. Ah, what a lovely franchise. 
I know a lot of people criticize it for being a very small franchise and not a very big universe, but I think that's what made it so good. That and the fact that it stayed within the realms of understanding. You know, basically they're running all these giant spaceships off of 80s tech. It's great. Errol. The room Let's I'm in? See. It's only supposed to be opened by company admins. Hmm. Unlocking takes a couple minutes. Xenos will be drawn by the noise. Hey, kids here. Vibration. Uh, whatever. They'll come. Be ready. Well, let's just do it to it then, shall we? Locks are dropping. I hope you can. Good luck. They're coming. Die, die, traitors, die. No, no, no spit for you. We're not gonna have any of that stuff flying around. It's unsanitary. It's how the zombie plague gets spread. Yes, yes, we must not be unsanitary creatures now. She's coming for me, apparently, dude. Grabbing ammo. Get some refill. helps when you have your uh, gunner grenades and you can stun those things so you can get a few extra hits in. Overclock is also nice, but we're running a challenge card, so... There we go. One dead, Monica. I've never met a Monica I like anyways. So it's not a rusty bit of my stuff. And I just lost what I was going to say there, so I apologize. Ooh, spitterbutt. There we go. Spitterbutts are always good to it's shoot. Over. Oh, God. Finally. So we'll be able to pick up our raw the board's clear. Collect oh, our man. need to play a demolisher, huh? Need handguns and elites. So in case you're wondering what we're rocking on our stuff here, we're running the heavy assault rifle. We've got her decked out with the precision brake to focus on that weak point damage and effective range. Obviously the smart rounds which give us stability as well as again handling and aim assist and then weak point damage and effective range again off our optics. Uh, we're only on level 2. I did not have this one before the patch, so I gotta level it up the old-fashioned way. And for CKW, we're running our tactical shotgun, which we're running with our precision break again, focusing on that weak point damage and range. Obviously, getting up our magazine capacity, because this has such a very small amount of ammo that it carries. And then, of course, again, weak point and effective range. This one is fully leveled, but I have done this manually. I play the Technician heavily, so I use the shotgun a lot, which is why this one's at max. So that's the loadout we were running today on our 
basically rank 6 gunner. So this is my highest level, as you can see. I don't play the Dock much or the Phalanx much. I haven't been a big fan of either of those classes, mostly because of solo play. Uh, again, I'm only running solo play because of the fact that uh, it would take me forever to get into a pickup group to play. And for recording purposes, it's easier to run you know, a lower level and something else, especially since I'm just kind of showing off each of the levels for you guys at this point. I'm not trying to break the bank, so there we go. But I'm also not going to sit through all these load screens either, so I think we're going to call that an episode there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this run through of Mission 2 Campaign 1. So I will call that an episode. I hope to see you guys all around for the next one. And we will catch you on the flip side. Toodaloo.